Yeah, I got some explaining to do. Yes, as you read the title, this is pretty much going to be uh, <laughs> my spoiler review, which I already should have done back around Christmas Eve, but uh, I'll get to that part in, uh, right now, actually. So, uh, yeah, before I start talking about my thoughts with Spider-Man Noah Home, finally, about damn time I talk about this damn movie, which, uh, yeah, it, 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 yeah I, I'm a bit overdue making this video, but still, like, everyone already knows what went down. But anyways, anyways, anyways so yeah, I was planning to... Uh, do this review with my brother, and uh, he'd be, I left, I, I would, I was, I'm gonna, you know, for this video today, I was gonna wear, I was gonna put this on, but I figured, I, this is a reminder for me, um, when the movie comes out, and me and DJ's watching, I'm hoping that once his, once the spy, because his Spider-Man suit is on his way here, and by that, I mean, uh, all of our stuff, along with the costume he left at Vegas, are on the, are on the way here, god, I really wish I was recording on my phone, but, why am I recording on this thing, because my phone is charging, but still, um, I'm hoping that we'll make a video together, just wearing our costumes, just discuss more about Spider-Man, because, seriously though, even though I, even though this is just the one, like, literally, I'm never gonna experience this type of thing ever again, unless, uh, well, that depends on, you know, you know, that depends. I don't know, but still, just I just don't want to stop talking about Spider-Man Noah Home. I would like, I just want to talk about it for the rest of my life until I die. I don't care what anyone says. I will forever talk about this movie for the rest of my life, even if I annoy people the hell about it. But still, um, I'm hoping I'm, I'm not trying with my brother about it. I'm hoping we could do that once the movie is out on Blu-ray, um, April thirtieth, twenty twenty-two. I'll mainly be getting it by uh, May as a very late birthday gift. But um, but still, so yeah, I'm hoping we could do more videos just talking about Spider-Man No Home. This, that would be a part two. Just our thoughts with Spider-Man No Home. I am planning to record my mom's reaction to Spider-Man No Home, which will either be just some parts or just an entire movie reaction. That's gonna be interesting. But I'm all, mainly looking forward to it. Just hoping my mom was not spoiled because. She's been missing a couple of movies, especially Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi! But she's probably have seen Encanto, though. And speaking about... on and by, She probably has seen it on Disney Plus, but speaking about Disney Plus. Uh, you know what? I'll actually post it on my community post because I, I saw this... I, I freaking saw this coming. I don't know what you're doing, Disney. I freaking saw this coming. Let's just hope Lightyear isn't next because... There's no way in hell they could dump that on Disney Plus. But anyways, I'm getting, I'm getting off topic. So um, so yeah, I am planning to make more No Way Home videos, whether it's uh, me talking about Spider-Man No Way Home. But let me just explain. So one of those videos will have to do with, oh, I don't know. Uh, hold on, let me just get rid of all this crap. <laughs> hold on a second. It's me building freaking Lego sets. Yeah, I'll be, I've, I've already done a Lego set video, which was uh, one of Avengers Endgame set that Nana got me, but... I'm gonna be building these unless uh, Deanne Ryland gonna be joining. I don't know, but I haven't picked when to build these. I'm saving these for when all of our stuff is here, and I finally want to build my Lego sets. But I'm have to torture myself by waiting longer. But boy, I want to build this bad boy now. I don't know when I'll build it, but we'll have to find out. So be sure to have your notifications on and just uh, yeah. Once I hit back home, I'm definitely gonna be reading this. I could easily just take a nap, watch whatever I download on YouTube or Netflix or Disney Plus, or just draw. But uh, this is good stuff right here. Heck, I can't even read this if I'm going going to the bathroom because uh, you know I I don't know why I said that. Also, if they really if they don't release Toby and Andrew toys like figurines, like I swear to God, I will waste all my money just getting knowing home merch. Because already I want to get the damn shirt that people are buying off of Amazon. Like, I got to get that damn thing. But I wasted my money refunding, but also getting a ghost face mask. That won't be, that will pretty much be arriving here when the movie is out. Which I was hoping to arrive before the movie is out. But anyways, uh, now that I've discussed what I'm planning. Yeah, I am planning to make uh, Noi Home content. Whether it's me building Lego sets or getting merch or talking more about the movie. Or if I'm going to record my mom reacting to the damn thing. But anyway, so yeah. But here's the original plan for this video. So, uh, before, so yeah, bef way before Christmas and everything, like, let me just explain. So after seeing No Way Home, me and Dee talked about how we were going to make a spoiler review. And he agreed. He agreed. And he was bummed out that he didn't bring a costume with him uh, to the movie. But hey, once Spider-Man 4 is out, we, 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 we're going to be seeing it together if possible. Because... If I have to fly, if it's coming out and around 
I have my experience. You know, I don't know. Basically, what we're trying to say is that if I have to fly over there to Florida or Vegas, or if he has to come to me just to see it together or something, still, basically, this is a promise. When Spider-Man 4 comes out, whether it be Tasm 3 or Toby's Spider-Man 4 or Marvel Studios Spider-Man 4, yes, you're probably going to be confused. Wait, which Spider-Man 4 are you talking about? Uh, any Spider-Man movie, because hashtag make Spider-Man 4 and hashtag make Tasm 3. So still, any upcoming Spider-Man movie, whether it's Venom or Spider-Man or Crayon Hunter or Morbius, either one, anything Spider-Man movie related, We'll, co- we'll, go- we'll be there in a costume, but for Morbius, I don't know. Uh, well, I think we'll just wear regular clothes or something. But for Spider-Man, whether it's Spider-Man, uh, the main Spider-Man 3 or Spider-Man 4 or the MCU Spider-Man 4, we'll be seeing that in theaters, wearing a costume. Because the first time we've done it was with Chasm 2. And I'll tell you this, it was fun. Okay, it was fun. And uh, I did, I did, told you, you probably should wear your costume. But hey, I, I can't blame him. He, he, If he forgot, he forgot it. I, I can't relate to him because I forget. I forget a, a lot. I have like 50 50 memory. Okay, I'm getting distracted, but still, that's a promise. That's a promise. I know. I'll go tell my brother wherever the heck he is. I, I don't even think he's in the house. He's probably hanging out with his friends. But, anyways, anyway, so yeah, uh, we agreed to do a video together. Um, He also asked if he could wear the costume, and I said, Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You can wear it. You can wear, you can wear the costume for the spoiler review. And, uh, well, change of plans, because once Christmas had arrived, actually, no, wait, uh, we were planning to do it around the 24th, because, like I said, I like to give everyone a week to see the movie, and uh, I'll probably be doing that with Scream 5. I am planning to see that next Friday, and then I'm probably going to do, oh my god, I actually should write that down, I, why didn't I why not talk about that, because I'm definitely going to be talking some spoilers for Scream 5, especially who the killer was, because, uh... I have my bets, and I know for a fact I'm going to be wrong, okay? Because, like, I was already spoiled for who were the killers for the first four movies, because mainly I watched the Dead Meat Kill counts in that uh, sometime 2020 or 2019. Actually, mainly 2020, but still, I'll talk more about Scream another time. But, um, uh, all right, where was I? So, yeah, we were going to originally, so, yeah, I like to, I like to give everyone a week before... Yeah, I like to, so I I do a movie review, spoiler free, when the movie is out, and then uh, I give everyone a week to check it out, and then next, and then the next week, basically the next Friday, I do the spoiler review. It depends on what movie it is, whether it's Marvel or DC, just any, it just depends what the movie is, but for, but, but still, for Spider-Man or Scream, oh yeah, I gotta do spoiler reviews for this, but for King Richard, yeah, there's no need for spoiler review there. You see, you see the examples I did there, but still. Uh, Sally D was not in the mood, mainly because he was in bed, probably playing Fortnite all night. But still, basically, he was in bed, and I told him that we'd have to reschedule, because I was like, hey, we couldn't, we couldn't do it on Christmas, Christmas Day. Why, 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 why be out of my mind doing it on Christmas Day? Christmas Day is Christmas Day, and so it's Christmas Eve, but it's just, I don't know, but still, basically, I had to reschedule, and I did post about it on my community post, saying we'll have to do it around, uh, Sunday, but thanks to... Uh, well, not actually, let me rephrase that. Uh, plans have changed because thanks to D and along with me and Rylan getting an Xbox to share for, uh, basically, we got an Xbox for Christmas and I will show you what it is once, uh, I'll give it, uh, once I do the house tour by the end of the month because I know for a fact we're going to have all of our crap here by the end of the month, but still, since he got an Xbox, he's been on the damn thing nonstop. It's like when he was on his Switch nonstop earlier in 2021, but still. I was a bit annoyed. Just, Are you kidding me? Did we put the great toy for you to do? Sally, I, I even discussed with them earlier today while he was outside uh, chatting with a friend. I was, We were just talk, talking about Spider-Man and a couple of things. He was outside with his friend. I was, it, was, it was at the window. I opened up the window. I don't know what I'm even talking about, but still. Um. I asked Dave if he wanted to do a video with me today, but sadly, he said, Nah, you can do it all by yourself. Kind of breaks my heart. But honestly, uh, I still have not uploaded my movie vlog of Noe Home, which this is the first, actually, no, not the first time in this. This is the second time I've not uploaded my movie vlog. The first one was with A Quiet Place Part 2, but I will be uploading that sometime this week. Um, so yeah, be, be sure to have your notifications on. But still, still. Uh, so yeah. Obviously, I'm now flying solo with this, and I'm even more upset that I didn't even bother putting on the suit for this. Because I would have want, I would have wanted to put on the suit for this, but uh, actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna think about it. So I'll be right back. All right, I decided to hell with it. Minus four, minus four, full glory. <laughs> I 
I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but still, I just decided to screw it. I'm just going to put it on for this video, but, uh, yeah, I'm hoping there's no holes. I'm hoping there's no... Okay, I'm getting distracted. I honestly forgot what I was doing because I got so distracted because I went downstairs to inform everyone not to come in here and bug me, but, uh, I thought I was home alone, but everyone's just at the park, so, yeah, everyone's at the playground. Me and new people since we just moved here, but, um, yeah, and I took out the trash. It's one of my chores, but still, but still, uh, if I remember correctly... I was explaining to, uh, yeah, I'm basically just doing this by myself. But like I said earlier, I will be making more No Way Home videos because I am never going to stop talking about this movie till the day I die. All right. And you're probably going to be on board with me on that. On You'll probably not. You'll probably never stop talking about No Way Home until you uh, either die or just get over it. I don't know. Honestly, just, oh, my God. This is one of my favorite Spider-Man movies ever. I really, I was really hoping I actually, I was supposed to do a ranking, a Spider-Man ranking, um, last month, around December. But then I thought, I was too late for that, I guess I'll do that when Morbius comes out in January. Well, guess what? That got delayed to my birth month, April Fool's. Well, mainly April, but still, it's coming out April Fool's, and now, it ain't an April Fool's joke. And apparently, it got delayed to, uh, apparently a new COVID in town called Omnicord, or whatever it's called. But still, just, I swear to God, if we end up in quarantine again, and that uh, just... Still, we end up in quarantine. 2022 will be ruined for me. I'm lucky that 2021 was not ruined for me. Or I think it was not ruined for me. I don't know. I'll have to have a day to think about it or something. But still. Anyway, just, so yeah. That's the reason for why uh, it's been taking me so damn long. Actually, no. Wait, there's another reason for why. Uh, so yeah, the first reason was how... My, the first reason was my brother could not... Uh, well, well, pl well, he actually agreed to do it with me, but then... After he got the Xbox, he then just got to do with it. But the second reason was a lot was going on around December, as in we were moving and we were in a hotel room. And I could have done it in a hotel room, but honestly, with D and Ryan just playing on the Xbox, I couldn't even focus on making a video because just I didn't have a room to myself. So I figured, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to do it at the house. And I figured I'd do it on, uh, wait, when would Spider Man? I know Spider Man No Way Home would be released around January. In some other places in theaters, but I don't know which day. I figured it'd be today or tomorrow. I honestly don't know, but just still. So yeah, uh, first reason my brother agreed, but then Jane, but then I uh, forgot about it. But then second reason is because we were moving and just yeah. <sighs> but I'll tell you this, I I am I'm just oh my god, uh, I I can't even talk about the last okay the last IMAX movie the last movie I saw in IMAX was. Possibly Captain Marvel. Uh, I, I that's all I could think of. That because like I remember my grandpa, my grandparents took us to see Captain Marvel in IMAX. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to double check on him with that. But I'll tell you this: I am glad I saw this damn thing in IMAX. Just if they will, if they are planning to release all this, just Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy on Displays, have the release and not only uh. And Disney Plus, but also an IMAX, because I know they have IMAX on Disney Plus now, which is kind of crazy. Like, what is going on with streaming these days? But still, but still, but still. Anyways, now that I explained uh, why it's taking me so long to make this video, and uh, what I'll be planning to do for the next couple of months, I have to do is probably no way home content. And uh, I will be wearing this once I build those Lego sets. But I swear to God, they don't have a Lego set of Tommy and Andrew, along with the five villains that we could have gotten in Sinister Six. Actually, we do have a six villain. A freaking tree. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just, that's just became so funny, you know, with the, when Ned was like, is this a scientist that turned himself into a tree or like a tree monster? And then Ledger was like, it's just a tree, man. Just a tree. Okay, I probably should have done a spoiler warning. Actually, this video is going to be full of spoilers. I don't know, but so uh, I'm going to. I am I will be making another video with my brother. Hopefully, I just got to challenge him now once he comes back inside. But anyways, enough chit chat. It's time that I finally. Let out everything off my chest about this damn movie, because it is a freaking masterpiece. Hey, is it a masterpiece? I don't know. I can say wherever it is, because it is truly the best movie I've seen in 2021. Okay? Uh, oh, crap. I did pause it there. Dang it, this stupid thing. Oh, I should have saw that coming. You see? This is why I prefer to record on my phone. And I it did not work. It did not. Great. Now I'm going to have trouble. I can't even pause. Hold on. Can I pause? No. Nope. Can I? Oh, there we go. Now it worked. Anyways, as I was saying, let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. Damn it! 
fucking this thing. All right, now it's working. Okay, 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 no joke. I literally, as I sat down just to start talking, I heard the sound of a tear coming from my suit, and I immediately run to the bathroom and check. I don't know, once I take this off, I will check for any holes, but luckily, I have a father who could fix a suit, because I then found a hole in the bum of my Venom suit, and he luckily, luckily, he fixed it. So, uh, yeah, if, if anything happens to this, he can fix that, which, uh, hoping the sewing materials is in the RV. And he's coming up. Alright, alright, alright. Before I talk, okay, before I talk, I'm gonna go inform uh, my brother what I'm doing. Or I'm gonna try to drag him in here. So let me just pa try to pause with this stupid thing. This, this is now gonna be difficult pausing, but be right back. What with me? Alright, I don't know what my brother was doing. I thought he was coming inside. He's then outside, but who gives a crap? Because he, he, said, he said it to me earlier today. Do it by myself. Alright, fine, D. But mark my words, you and I will make a video to talk about Spider-Man on Home. But anyways, anyways, here's a couple of things that I forgot to mention in Spider-Man, in my spoiler-free video of Spider-Man on Home. So, um, uh, you all know that I was not much of a fan of Homecoming. I mean, I liked it, just, this was not my favorite, but then Far From Home was my most favorite. But, uh, I think we all know what's my most favorite here. No Way Home. I like it a lot more than the first two, but, uh, does that mean that... It, like, it, I mean, yes, it is technically for, it is technically better than the first two, but here's something you should know. Once you watch Spider-Man No Way Home, you will appreciate Homecoming and Far From Home, because technically, this whole trilogy, this whole Tom Holland trilogy, is a Spider-Man origin story for a Spider-Man, for Tom Holland Spider-Man. No joke. It is an, or, it is Tom Holland's Spider-Man origin story, which is, which is weird, because we're finally going to see how he got his spider powers in Spider-Man Freshman Year on this plus coming hopefully this summer or this year. Hopefully not in 2023 because I know for a fact it's gotta be coming out this year. I don't know. I would like to know the release date please, but still. Um so yeah I so yeah this is gonna be weird for me to say but technically this 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 is like two parts. Part one would be uh the this plus show and then the part two would be the trilogy which is confusing but still basically this whole entire trilogy basically uh how do I put this? This is uh Tom Holmes's origin as well no way, that, that way, that didn't come out right. Um, this is Tom Holland's Spider-Man's origin story split into three movies. Actually, it split into three parts of a trilogy. Like, literally, it is, this entire trilogy is just a three-part origin story, which has to be insane. Whether this is, this is the first time that's ever happened, or... Uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know, but... Here's something I was expecting about Spider-Man No Home, because I wanted to be completely different from the first two, because the first two, um, I did, I talked my thoughts about it in my triple trailer reaction for, uh, when I reacted to Homecoming, Far From Home, and, uh, No Way Home, and I wanted to be completely different from the first two, and boy, I am so glad it, that, that my, it exceeded, actually, my expectations for the movie were in this entire, like, how do I explain this, <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Let me just uh, cool down. I wanted this movie to be completely different, just feel different from the first two uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, because the first two were just uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like I said, I I described how they felt like for me. Just basically, um, I wanted No One Home just to feel like No One Home, not any vibes for uh, Far From Home or Homecoming. And did I get any of those vibes? Possibly, but honestly, no, because I got what I asked for. Because this movie is totally different. It is completely different from the first two. And I'll tell you this, Tom Holland was not kidding when he said that this movie ain't going to be happy or fun. Because here are the three words he described this movie. Sad, dark, brutal. And I'll tell you this, it is sad, it is brutal, and it is dark as hell, okay? Ex well, I don't know. Actually, it is kind of dark. This is technically one of the darkest Spider-Man movies we've gotten, according to Spider-Man fans. Or to me. I don't know. I'm just agreeing with what people are saying, because, I, because I, yeah, this is probably a bit of one of the darkest Spider-Man movies. Unless Andrew's movies are the darker one. I don't know. But still, he was not kidding, because it is sad. It is dark. It is brutal. Okay? Especially, it is, exact, it is especially brutal, because... Okay, I would just talk this in order... Like how film stopped, film stoked, uh, talked his thoughts, his spoiler thoughts in order of the entire movie, but I'm just gonna say whatever I can think of. I'm probably gonna forget something, but like I said, me and Dan are gonna talk more about this in the near future. Or, once I upload my movie vlog, uh, consider our spoiler thoughts coming out of the theater, our spoiler review, but, um, still. 
Just uh, so yeah, it is completely brutal because everyone has been hyping it up, just talking about how the fight scene between Spider-Man and Green Goblin is brutal. And I'll tell you this: Tom Holland is just going at it. He's going full rage mode. He is he is legitimately pissed at the Goblin because remember when I said this movie is sad? It is sad. Not only for the ending, but it may dies. It may dies. Like literally, this is the first or second time she's died. Well, technically, first time in a movie, but second time that Aunt May has died, or third. I don't know, but still, the first time would be uh, Aunt May from the PS4 Spider Man. But like, dude, for me, it's just like this is the first time a live action Aunt May has died. Like, holy freaking crap! This. Oh my god. Literally, I wanted to cry. So I tried crying on command, which is probably stupid. It probably does not count, but like, dude. I was just so sad about it. Like, I was just so sad. I could not believe she died. Oh, my God. Like, uh, okay, so literally, as as the glider's coming, I'm, like, thinking, oh, my God. She's going to die. She's going to die. That glider's going to stab her through the back. And I'm, like, thinking, oh, God, is she okay? And then she gets up, and uh, she's looking to be okay. I'm, like, oh, she's good. She's good. But then, seconds later, I was fooled, okay? I was fooled real good because... She then collapses, and boom! Tom Holland sees blood on his hands when he's trying to help out. And just, oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what did I said in my final thoughts for Noi Home, but I'll tell you this. I was right on a couple of things. But I'll tell you this. I'm glad Happy didn't die, all right? Some of us were hoping he would die, and I'm like thinking, okay, I'll agree with you, but honestly, I'm going to be upset if he dies, okay? He. He technically started the MCU, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty glad he didn't die in this movie, but oh my god. Oh, same goes for Ned. I thought he would, I thought he was a possibility too, but hey, at least they didn't kill him off, because I bet they're probably saving him for, uh, for him to be Hobgoblin in the next Tom Holland trilogy, which I gotta talk about that, but oh my god. This guy, I just don't freaking believe it. She freaking dies. Like, Dude, this is what everyone's been looking for. This is because literally everyone that were nit, just everyone that, just every Spider Man fan that had tons of problems with his Spider Man were completely fixed in this movie because they got what they wanted. They got what they wanted to see. They got him to, they, they wanted him to just, just, oh my God, literally, he suffered the consequences because, like, as he just looks, to J. John James on the TV, like, that shot has to be one of the best shots of the entire movie, like, just him just standing there with the rain, like, you just, it just looks so badass to me, but oh my god, the way he's just looking up, just feeling so devastated, just, oh my god, this was insane, this was insane, I just don't know what, oh my god, just, oh man, that was one of the sad parts of The Way Home. At, and one of the other sad parts was that, basically, remember when I said uh, that I would have some vibes, uh, Rise of the Titans vibes with Spider-Man on Home? You know, with how everyone could possibly forget and that be in the situation, like how Jim basically rewind back time and now he's back to square one. That's basically back to the first episode of season one. I could say I was right about that, but uh, let's just say I was 10 or 5% because it is completely different, a lot different actually, because everyone does forget, but... Instead of him as Spider-Man, they forget Peter, who's who's Peter Parker. Like he never existed. Like everyone just literally has no memory of who the hell Peter Parker is. And I think I can now see what everyone's talking about because I keep seeing this all over the place where people have been saying there's nine movies of Spider-Man and we still don't know his identity. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And I then started. Oh wait a minute. There, they're 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 making fun of this, aren't they? They're they're talking about uh, how we don't know. Who Peter Parker is. Okay, I see what everyone's doing here. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. But I'm thinking that's the case. But still, just it was just sad seeing Peter go by to his friends. And he was going to try explaining it to them. But honestly, there, there was a 50-50 chance there. Whether they think he was crazy or whether they believed him. So there was a 50-50 chance there. But that probably would have... It honestly would have mattered. Because as he sees MJ's injury band-aid. As he gets a coffee. Um... He then realizes that he has to let them go. He has to stay away from them because if if anyone knows, they like they're in danger. If they're with him, they 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 be in danger. So 
Yeah, I'd be upset, and I can understand what people are talking about with the ending, which I'll get to that part later, but still, just... Oh, man, that was tough for me to watch. Just him saying goodbye to, to MJ, especially Nick. Like, literally, he just lost one of his best friends. And even though I had a problem that, where the hell is Aaron Harry Osborne? But then I liked Ned in Homecoming because, like, he was a likable character. I don't know why people are kind of not a fan of Ned or anything. I mean, I've seen some funny videos where he's, like, a uh, green goblin and that he gets uh, a glider through his chest. I, I I saw a video about that. It was funny, but, like, I don't know. I feel like people are just hating Ned. I don't know. Just I just like Ned, okay? He's a likable character. I didn't want him to die. Thank God he didn't die. But probably the reason for why they didn't kill him off is because they're probably saying with Hobgoblin. Because technically in the comics, he is Hobgoblin. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he could have been the sixth villain. Hey, hey, uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Because, like I said, because, like I said, before seeing No Way Home, the one disappointment I would have with this movie is that No Sinister Six. But after seeing No Way Home, I then changed my mind about it because there is one thing I am totally disappointed with, which I'll get to that part later. But let's talk about the ending. I could completely understand why people are so pissed with the ending, why people don't like the ending, and why it's a bad ending. Like, honestly... If you've seen Spider-Man movies, they're all kind of sad. There's no good endings. Like, for Toby, uh, for Toby's movies, uh, they, 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 some of them ended in the funerals. Like, the first, well, the first one, the third one ended in the funeral. Well, the third, well, the first one mainly ended in the funeral. But, like, still, honestly, I don't even know if there's a happy ending in any of these Spider-Man movies. Except for Spider-Verse. That, that, that was a good ending for there. But for, uh, Sp- for Tasm 1, I don't think there's a sad ending there, but, uh, Tasm 2... Probably, yeah, that definitely was a sad ending because literally they went to Gwen's funeral. Like, Gwen, Peter failed to save Gwen. Just and for Spider Man 3, I don't know. I was just a bit 50 50 with that ending. I don't know. I just don't know if I was a fan of that. And especially for the ending of uh, Spider Man 2. Uh, why am I even talking about the other endings? Because honestly, I don't even know. We'll probably have a few good endings, but like, just still, just like. I can, it's, like, what I'm trying to say is that I can understand why people are just pissed with the ending. I would be pissed too, but honestly, like literally, I could just be pissed that this is all happening. Like, I would have liked the movie, but the one thing I wouldn't like is how it ended. But I would have just not liked how it ended. I would like the entire thing, but just not like how it ended. But honestly, with everyone just talking about how um they want to how they want to see the MCU Spider Man become the traditional Peter Parker, like just. Like, literally, I would have been just upset with one thing, and that would have been the ending. I would have liked the entire thing. Just one thing is the ending. Basically similar with how I felt with Troll Hunters Right Titans. Loved the entire movie, just was not found the ending. And speaking about the ending of Troll Hunters, <laughs> stay tuned for, for another Tells of Arcadia video, because we got something we need to talk about with that ending, guys. <laughs> you guys are going to be pissed as I was for finding out uh, the true ending of Tells of, of Troll Hunters Right Titans. Yes! There was an original ending that was cut from the week. Well, that's a video for another day, okay? That's a video for another day. But still, anyway, so yeah. Literally, I would be on board with you. Just be pissed with how it ended. But honestly, with the way it ended, I was just... I just felt satisfied. Even though sad at the same time, but felt satisfied at the same time. But also, I was excited. Because I, I, I was excited. I was... Okay, three... Three three words I could describe how I felt with it, how it ended. I was sad about it, I was satisfied, and I was excited. And what was I excited for? I was excited for the future of the MCU Spider-Man. I was like, because literally, I want to see where this goes. Cause no, like, he gets an apartment! And the moment we saw him just get an apartment, I then just remembered Toby's apartment. Like, literally, it just brought me back. To just call, this was a callback to Toby e. McGuire Spider-Man having an apartment for the last two movies. Like, dude, that got me so hyped. Literally, I'm just so hyped to see where this is going to go. Literally, I would like to have this next Spider-Man trilogy, whether, it's, whether I have to wait for another two years or in a couple of years. I don't know. I highly doubt we're going to get Spider-Man 4 in 2023 because um, John Watts is going to be directing Fantastic Four. But... I don't think he'll be direct, because now that I think about it, I don't think he's going to be coming back to direct the next trilogy. It's going to be a different director, but if it were Sam Raimi, oh, we uh, we would lose our freaking minds, okay? That would be freaking crazy, and is it, oh, wow, it's actually getting dark. I'm then I'm just, as I'm looking at this, the background's getting very dark. I'm going to brighten up the screen. Oh, that's all the way I can do. If only I had my ring light, but sadly, that's 
on its way here, but just still. So yeah, uh, I felt sad about how it ended. I was satisfied the way it was ended. It's Smokey! One of the things I was okay, I gotta talk about this because this was probably my favorite part about the entire movie. Actually, the entire the entire movie was just my favorite. Everything I love, I just loved every minute about Spider-Man No Home. But just the suit, okay, the suit. Literally, I freaking called it. I I had a feeling he would get a new suit. How? I just I I probably had an explanation. I probably didn't have an explanation for my theory. I just felt like I just had a feeling, a gut feeling, a spider sense. That he would get a new suit by the end of the movie. I I probably, I probably had an explanation for why I had this theory. I don't know. It, I don't know. But I just had a feeling he would get a new suit. And as we saw it ended, like, as we saw the ending, I threw, I was freaking right. Because Peter made a new suit. And literally, everyone is just so obsessed with it. Like, literally, I had... Even though uh, I liked the black and red suit, I kind of missed the blue and red one, the tradition, the classic colors of the Spider-Man suit. But dude, seeing that suit, oh my god, I can see why people love it, love it so much. Because not only it's coming accurate, but it just looks so damn good. And he has changed the Spider-Man logo, which I like the Spider-Man logo, but I'm gonna miss that logo. But this new logo that he has for suit, it is growing on me. It is growing on me. I was 50-50 about it. Like, how I was 50-50 with the new suits, which would be the integrated suit. I was 50-50 with that, but then it grew on me, and I now like the suit. So, eventually, it'll, this this uh, new logo that he has will grow on me. But, like, dude, that suit looks so damn good. Like, oh, my God. The ending was just perfect, okay? The ending was just perfect. It was just perfect. This whole entire damn movie. Was just perfect. What about the post credit scenes? Oh, let me tell you the one disappointment I had with Noi Home. So before seeing Noi Home, I would I had always kept saying that the one disappointment I would have is that Marvel and Sony failed to do a Sinister Six in this movie. That it would be. I mean, it's, it's it's probably there's probably a reason why they didn't do it because they want to save it later. It's not the right time, you know, the right moment. They want to have just so yeah, basically. They just want to, they're saving it for another Spider-Man movie or something, whether it's Tasm or MCU Spider-Man. I don't know. I'm hoping the Sister Six would be the villains for Tasm 3, unless it's going to be Venom. Because there's been reports saying that, which uh, I'll talk about that. And like, I'll talk about that if I can. If I can. But just still, what I'm trying to say is that I was going to be upset they didn't do a Sister Six. Because I've been dying to see a Sinister Six. A live action one, especially. But... After seeing Noi Home, I then changed my mind about it and didn't even care that there was a Sinister Six because all I cared was that I got to see five Spider-Man villains again that I thought would never. I just I just thought I would never get to see them again. Just I didn't even care that there was no Sinister Six. I was just happy just to see these guys again. But the one disappointment I had with Noi Home was that damn post credit scene. No joke. Before the movie, before the damn movie even came out, I saw a TikTok that appeared on my for you page. And uh, they warned me about spoilers, and I'm like, like, this is a rumor or a report, rumor or report, one of those. Uh, the per the TikToker, the guy said something that uh, there was a report going around, a rumor going around that uh, the post credit scenes will feature uh, Eddie Brock, Tom Hardy's Venom, going back to his universe, but leaving a piece of a symbiote in the MCU. And <laughs> as I heard about, it, I'm like. If that happens, I'm going to be pissed. I, 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 I call Cap. There's no freaking way. There is no freaking way. So I call Cap on that, okay? I call Cap on that, all right? I call Cap. Well, guess what? He was not copying because that's literally what happens, which is, I mean, I don't entirely hate it. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was a good post credit scene, mainly with <laughs> Tom Hardy just talking about mentioning the Avengers like Iron Man, Hulk, and Thanos, like alien that loves stones. Well, I'll tell you this. They don't like, aliens don't like stones. They like eating brains. <laughs> the, the, one of the funniest lines Venom said was like, Yeah, you thought Lethal Protector was a turd name. And the reason I said turd is because I can't say that as bomb. Again, I would have preferred to... I would have said it on my phone because I can edit on there. But just still. um, Still, as he, go, as he goes back to his universe, I was immediately pissed. Because with that, I'm like, What the hell was with the post I scene for Venom 2? What was the meaning of that? Look, like, literally, I've been dying to see Tom Ho Tom Holland's Venom. No, no, no. Tom, let me rephrase that. Tom Holland's Spider-Man go against Tom Hardy's Venom because I think they're perfect for each other. But I guess we'll see that another time, or they'll never come to the light of the day. But 
after seeing it, I think Venom, I think Venom, I think Spider, I think Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man does, uh, will, does deserve to fight Tom Hardy's Venom, because he's, Venom's most likely, the Venom verse is most likely the Tasm universe, which, uh, there's a lot to talk about with Morbius, Venom, and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, which is, but still, but, a piece of symbiote was left behind, so, I think we all know what's coming in Spider-Man 4. And literally, we got a first-look concept art of Tom Holland in the symbiote suit. I also thought it was fan-made, but people have been talking about it, and I'm like, oh my god, it's actually real? And I gotta say, it has to be one of the coolest symbiote suits I've seen. And I hate to admit, it's kind of, it's kind of, I like it a lot more than the, um, black suit from Spider-Man 3. But, bro, I'm hoping Spider-Man 4 is, uh, I'm hoping that's what Spider-Man 4 is going to be about. The MCU Spider-Man 4, I mean. Because, uh, I think they may go with the storyline of, well, well, there's been saying, there's been reports that it could go with the storyline of Secret Wars or the Craven Hunter thing. Because, like, literally Spider-Man 3 was originally going to be a Craven Hunter movie, but thank God that was not, it was not a Craven Hunter movie or else we wouldn't have gotten Toby and Andrew in this movie. And speaking about that, I'm going to get that part before this video, uh, ends because I can only record 45 minutes, but still. So it's most likely gonna be uh, Tom Holland gets the symbiote, and that Kraven the Hunter will be the villain in Spider-Man Four. I don't know. I again, I would like to see this next trilogy. I don't know when we're gonna get it, but I'm dying for it to happen again. But right now, Tom's kind of taking a break, being Spider-Man. But oh my god, it is freaking dark in here. Hold on, let me open the blinds. Let me op let me open the blinds. Oh my god. I'm like, oh my god, this is so stressful. Come on, open the blinds. Let there be light! Which is a natural saying. Let there be light. Which I think, I don't know, Ben said, Spider-Man, oh my god. Let there be carnage, let there be venom. Let there be light. There should be a meme of that, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, but still. So I am looking forward to see that symbiote um, get attached on Peter Parker, which there's there was a report saying for how Venom was transferred into the universe, even though... Eddie didn't know Peter Parker, but the reason that happened is, is because of the hive mind. And I actually have a crazy theory. What if the, because like when I watched 3C Films' review for Spider Man 3, he had a problem with how, he just didn't like how the Venom, the Venom symbiote was introduced, why as it crashed down to Earth and just randomly goes to Peter Parker. What if there's a reason why it went to Peter Parker? Because the hive, it's a hive mind, right? It knows everything in the multiverse. Like literally, Venom 3 could be titled Venom. Into the Venomverse. That could be title for all I know. That could be the title for the movie for all I know. Unless it's Venom versus Spider-Man. I don't freaking know. But just... Still. Well, that's the reason why it went to Toby's Peter. Why it went to Toby's Peter Parker. Because the symbiote knew who Peter Parker was. Because, like, literally, what if Tover Grace's Venom is connected with... An, like, there could be multiple Venoms for all I know. Okay? I don't know. It's just a theory I got. But let's talk about Toby and Andrew. Okay? We all saw it coming. And now after seeing it, bro, I'm like wishing I knew nothing about this movie. But hey, I was still surprised. I was I was still surprised with everything about this movie. But like, I'm now wishing we I just knew nothing about this movie. I'm not wishing I knew nada about this movie. But bro, we all saw it coming. And one of what was it I was spoiled about for knowing home? It was mainly for Toby and Andrew. I didn't get spoiled for how it ended or who died or anything about this movie. The only spoilers were just um, Tommy and Andrew. And, yeah, I definitely, and I can confirm I was spoiled because one of the spoilers um, that Rowling showed me of Andrew, Toby, and uh, Tom, and just like, oh, what the hell are you doing? I, I was hoping it was fake, but as I saw it, I recognized one of the scenes. I'm like, oh, my God, I was spoiled. But I honestly didn't care. I won't get, I won't get over it that I was spoiled from going home, but, hey, at least it's not 100%. I was fully ruined for Venom and Venom 2. Let's just hope I don't get room for Venom 3. But still, oh my god. Just, oh man. I just want to show you the audio of everyone just losing their minds. Which I will upload sometime between April or May. All you all of you are voting for me to add footage to match with the audio. So, if that's what you want, where's granted? I just gotta wait a couple of months for the movie. For just for just basically YouTube videos to be online, so y'all are gonna have to wait. But I just barely want to upload the audio. But Sally, I'm gonna have to wait as as long as with you guys. But just oh my god, just tell me, Andrew, man. And I was hoping, like literally, this is the one thing I did not want from Tommy and Andrew. 
them as Cameron Rolls. I'll tell you this, they were not they were not Cameron Rolls. Like literally, I was hoping they would get enough screen time. And when I think about it, I'm like thinking, did they get enough screen time? Did they not get enough screen time? I don't know. But I keep reminding myself, dude, chill out. They got enough screen time. Because literally, I was wishing they would have enough screen time. Because honestly, I was seeing the second trailer. I just like, dude, they're obviously not going to be in the entire thing. They're most likely going to be in the final ball. Like, are they even going to be in the movie? Oh, they're going to be in the movie. Bro, they're in the freaking movie. They're in the freaking movie. But just still. Tommy and Andrew, they got enough screen time. Oh, they had enough. I was hoping they'd have enough screen time, and they got enough screen time. I got what I want. Literally, my expect. I literally got my expectations. I got what I wanted to see in this movie, but my expectations went higher. Like before seeing this movie, um, here were my expectations. They were high, but after seeing it, oh, it just went com- It just went bonkers. All right, cause just oh my god. And I have about four minutes to talk about this movie, but again, once again, I will talk more about this. So, because there's a lot I want to talk about, especially the villains. Like, let's talk about the villains, okay? I, I want to know when I said that Green Goblin is scary as heck in this movie. Hey, yeah, I can see why he's scary. Because Lee, literally, as Tom is pounding the crap out of them, just just doing some Black Widow moves and just punching them in the face, he's literally just smiling while he's getting pounded in the face. He's like, <laughs> he is laughing like. If, if, you, if, you, if you're just punching someone in the face and they're just laughing, run, okay? This is just something that Tyler Magnus said when I watched the spoiler review. Like, just I'm just going to repeat what he what he said to his viewers. If you see any of you, if well, you're just beating the crap out of them and they're laughing, just run, all right? Just run, okay? Just run. My God, it is so freaking dark in here. How? Why? Why has this become so... I'm getting very sweaty in this goddamn suit. Oh, my God. I need my freaking water bottle. But just... Oh, my God. Like, Willem Dafoe is now not only one of the best Spider-Man villains, but one of the best MCU villains now. All right? And speaking of... I then just realized something, because... Well, as he said that Oscorp doesn't exist, someone's living in my house, my son and everything... Uh, I think he just told us that Oscorp doesn't exist in the MCU, and we still don't know who bought the damn tower. The Avengers Tower, of course. Like, who the hell bought it? It's most likely going to be the Fantastic Four. I'm betting my money. It's the Fantastic Four that bought the, bought the Avengers Tower, but we'll have to find out. But I'm hoping I'll be right about that, because I badly want to see the Fantastic Four movie. Fantastic Four. I meant to say Fantastic Four. Um, I badly want to see that movie, but I don't know when that's going to come out. But still, just... Oh my god, Toby and Andrew, man. Toby and Andrew. Not only they were just like this entire movie, I could see what, like everything about this movie is a love letter to Spider Man fans, but also Spider Man. And it's not only fan service, it is actually one of the fan, best fan service we've gotten in years since, I guess, Ghostbusters after life, but still, it is not only fan service, but like it's, it's just, I, yeah, all right, screw it. It's a masterpiece. It's just a, it's just a masterpiece, all right? And uh, what else do I got to say? Okay, okay, one more time about the films. Like, Doc Ock, okay, as much as um, Doc Ock and Electro was still the show, it was mainly it was mainly Willem Dafoe, who should be called Willem the Goat, all right? Willem the Goat, because he is the goat of this movie, all right? Same goes for Toby. Toby is the goat. He's the OG. He's the so- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want to talk about so... I, I want to talk so much more, but sadly... To be continued, which I'm going to actually talk to my brother if we could uh, make a video together talking more about this, because I'm definitely going to be talking more. I would have done this in a live stream, but Sally, I can't live stream on this damn thing, because I don't know why. And, like, literally, I looked up why I can't live stream on my YouTube channel. Nothing's helping me out, but hey, let's just hope I can live stream on this thing, because the only way I could live stream is Twitch, and I need my dad to help me out with that. But that's all I'm going to say about Spider-Man No Home. I will do a part two of this, but... uh. This is way long overdue, but if you want the real spoiler review, it'll be in my movie vlog, which I will be uploading sometime this week. But be sure to let me know what you think about Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, how many times have you seen it? Because Sally, my dad isn't going to take me to see it a bunch of times, which sucks. So, uh, what do I got to do? So, what what could I do? Watch it online, which ain't the best way to see a movie. The best way to see a movie is in theaters, all right? So... I would put a link to watch the movie. If you if you can't see it in theaters, I'll put the link in the description below. But if you're able to see it in theaters, 
or able to watch online, I prefer for you to just go see it in theaters. The best way to see it is in theaters, okay? But anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, be sure to let me know what thoughts comes down below. And uh, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for my No Way Home content this year. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.